we're going to install manual locking hubs on this Ford Excursion. The process is going to be pretty much the same for any Super Duty truck. So we're going to go with the mile marker hubs. I've used these in the past and they work just fine. They're also pretty affordable. I'll put a link in the description on where you can get those. Uh, we're going to need pretty minimal tools today. Uh, Allen key, some pliers, some thread locker. That's pretty much it. So let's get started. First up, we're going to use our pliers and uh, remove this locking ring. Go ahead and turn your hubs to the unlock position. I think that's it. Move that right there, and this thing should just wiggle out. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to need to make sure it's all clean in there. This one is. It's got a new wheel bearing. Take your new hubs, and we're going to have to remove two of the bolts. So we can set this front piece down slide this in place. There isn't really any orientation that this goes in. You're just going to have to wiggle it until it goes in place. And that's it right there. Uh, next up we're going to take thread locker, uh, blue th thread locker, and apply some to the threads of each one of these bolts because these will come loose over time. So I'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay, blue Loctite in place. We'll let it sit here for a minute while we Put the next parts in. We're going to have a couple of these uh, locking rings that we're going to need to install and they're going to go over this portion here uh, where this lock ring came out from. There are two different lock rings we're going to use. The first one is a spiral lock and um, kind of comes apart like this. So you're going to start it at an angle, putting it in the groove uh, where the original snap ring was. Just kind of wiggle it around like that till it's in place. Make sure you hear it click and then some trucks, well most trucks, will take this secondary ring. This one's just going to go uh, right in front of that one that we just put in in the same kind of spiral motion and make sure it clicks in all the way around. Uh, take you a flathead screwdriver or something and just kind of press it on the sides to make sure it's seated. Um, next up we're going to take the selector switch here, make sure it's in the free position and find your locating dowel. Um, all these holes are going to be threaded except for one, and that's going to be where our locating dowel is going to go. So we'll just set that in place there, and we can put in all of our retaining bolts here. Alright, that is uh, pretty much it. You are officially done installing your manual uh, locking hubs. Now if you want to, you can go ahead and block off the vacuum line port under the hood on the left hand side if you're using a diesel uh, or a gas. It's going to be pretty much in the same place. Um, I would recommend just blocking it off there and then leaving everything in your knuckle assembly alone. Uh, because you don't want to worry about water getting in. Sometimes if your vacuum lines are totally gone, you can install just a little plug. So then you can test your hubs, make sure they work. If you've got your truck lifted off the ground, you can turn the wheel and see if it's uh, see if it's grabbing the axle. But that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.